we need to be finished by 3.30, so we'll do whatever yeah. we can between now and 3.30. Okay. Got everything you need? I think so. Okay. Why don't you uh, welcome Carter Sand, everybody. Boy, that projector is bright. That is great. I'll just dim this one. Whoops. I thought I had it. Learn. Can everybody see okay? Sure. Good. One great thing to learn while you're programming is called randomness. If you don't know what randomness is, here's a quick description. Randomness means that something is not predictable or based on chance. You know, things like flipping a coin or rolling dice, you know, stuff like that. As you can see, randomness is used a lot in games. But how do you do it? To use randomness in Python, first you have to import a module called random. Importing modules like taking a bunch of functions and things that are already written and putting them in your program. After that, there are lots of different functions we can use. For example, random.randint xy gives us an integer, or a whole number, between x and y. An example of random.randint goes like this. First, you import random up there. And then, you loop 10 times, and you just print random numbers between 0 and 10. Between 0 and 10. And you come up with output that might look something like this. The numbers will be different every time you run it because the numbers are random. So they won't be the same every time, otherwise they will be predictable. Oh. Another random function is random.random. And this always gives you a float, or a floating point number, between 0 and 1. So you can loop 5 times and print a random number between 0 and 1 and it gives you a bunch of long floating point numbers. If you want something bigger or smaller, you just multiply or divide the output. Another random function is random.choice, and that would randomly pick an item for a list. For example, you could look five times and print a random choice from a list of I've picked desserts here, ice cream, cake, pie, and cookies. And then it just gives me the and then it just gives me all the items randomly selected each time. So here's an example. Let's write a program that lets you simulate flipping a coin a million times. That would probably be unrealistic and really tiring to do in real life. So first, of course, we have to import random, like at the start of any program. And I'm going to set a coin, the two options, to heads and tails. And the number of heads right now is zero because we haven't flipped the coin out yet. And so is the number of tails that comes up. So then I'm going to loop one million times, flip it once, and get random choice between heads and tails. And if it's heads, then put, then put number of heads plus one. And if it isn't, then you add one to the number of tails. That way you can keep a running total of how many heads you have and how many tails you have. Then at the end, you can just print the number of heads and the number of tails. You can also simulate cards, dice, or anything else that you can think of that's unpredictable. Like computer-generated characters, for instance. So, you can make a game where the computer plays against you. Randomness can be a lot of fun once you learn how to use it. I've made things that just move around randomly and generated some pretty huge numbers. I hope you guys have fun with it as well. Thanks, Carter. <laughs> I don't know I left the Python terminal and you can, are you comfortable working in the, yeah. in the terminal? Yeah. Yeah, let me set you up with that because we have some more time. You can uh, kind of expand a little bit on what you've done. Uh, you can read that, right? Yeah. And you probably want the old-fashioned American-style keyboard, so I'll give you that instead of the one I use. What's uh, that? Dvorak, the Dvorak layout. It was made to be more efficient. Uh, good. So this should work fine for you. Let's just make sure A S D F. So we'll do we'll do a little bit more with Carter. Here we are in the shell, and I didn't have anything specific in mind. I mean, you could import random. 
Yeah, that's always first. You always have to import random first. Yeah. So one of the things that you might want to do is pick a random ice cream flavor. I don't know if you can't decide what ice cream flavor to do. So let's make a list of flavors. And let's do some of your favorite ice cream flavors. So raise your hand. But you do realize, Aubrey, that we're not actually getting any ice cream. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I okay, any more of you feel like that? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. So now we can just do pick equals random dot choice, and then we can just give it our list labels. So if I spelled that right, you did. Then we can just print the picked ice cream. So apparently, if you were to be getting ice cream, you would get in this track. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. so awesome. Now, do you have another way that you can do that? Or is yeah, that another way to do this is... I know I'm putting yeah. you on the spot. Yeah. I think you can do it. I like five, six, seven. Um, six. Why is it four again? I don't know why it's four. Magic. Random integer. The computer likes the number four. That is the only right explanation. If I loop a four i in range one hundred, print random. Random one six. <laughs> well, that was quite good. It's slower on my computer. <laughs> so if we scroll up, we can see that we do get a variety of numbers if I can put the scroll bar. But you wouldn't see 45 on a single guy. I don't know what kind of dice you play with. Wait. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be so cool. Don't I'm like, dragons. if I yes. went 78, I'd die. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, so. oh. yeah, you could print a 70-sided die. You can make a million sided die by doing this. Let's do a million sided die. One. Seventy. So now 45. we have a die with seventy. Forty-five. 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 No. Okay. Let's do seventy. The seventy sided die. Seventy-seven. Three. Three. Apparently, what? Apparently no. we're not the high roller today. It's almost four. Sure. Try to get on this plan. Come on. It's five. Right. Right. Now it's fifty-seven. There we go. You might as well. Forty-five. 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 Sixty-three. I quit. Forty-five. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. There we go. You got a forty-five. Oh, he got his forty-five. Forty-five. And you didn't have to cheat. No. Because you could have just said print forty-five. Yeah. <laughs> Good. All right. Let's give Carter a big hand. Join us in the lab. We'll be in the lab between now and 4:10. You can stay for five minutes or 10 minutes, or whatever you want to do. And you can wander around and help people with uh, questions about random numbers. Hey, you might enjoy it.